all right what's up guys your boy made it so we're back in kentucky right now it's uh six in the morning right now and i'm getting offloaded um so yeah man man i can't do this overnight trips no more they terrible like larry i left the house at 12 noon yesterday and i'm still on the road like it just i'm beat up I'm tired um so hopefully you know going on forward i'm um you know any load that comes after 12 and it has to be delivered the next day i'm not touching it because you know it's, it's just not right and you're gonna risk your life for what you're gonna definitely try to get morning loads or pre-book our loads for the next day not waiting for the same day trying to rush out the house it just don't work like that when you're doing over the road for amazon yeah it does you know it makes sense you know you can just get out the house real quick and go um but yeah man uh i'm beat up man i've been driving for about 10 11 hours now 12 well not even more than that so it, it just gets tiring right now well i don't even have time to drive no more so i'm just gonna go ahead and park the truck for the rest of the day today then find a load tomorrow then we hit the road back to hopefully new jersey just like we did the last time um yeah tired tired man i was falling asleep the whole entire way so i was really stopping every rest area i was stopping took a nap for 30 minutes took a nap for an hour 30 minutes you know and just kept it going but i'm beat up so we definitely gonna try to avoid this uh overnight trips and it is what it is my truck dirty man i gotta get i gotta get to the wash real quick look at this man look at all these bugs man they dirty look at the windshield dirty Oh, it's a bug killer right here, man. But so, yeah, you know. I'm about 10 minutes away from my brother's house. So, you know, I, I may get over there, take a shower, eat something, and get some sleep. Maybe wake up at midday, go to this um, tire place to see if this guy can replace my tires. Um... So, it's crazy though, cause he has them right, them tires right here. They're steering tires, they're not something, road tires. I like this, but we might end up putting those in the back. Them tires he gave me, they're not bad at all, they're just, they just trash. So, you know, hopefully he'll figure out something and hopefully he ain't gonna charge me nothing because man, we can't we can't run business like this. So I had these containers in there, some of them tipped over. I'm just hoping that they ain't spill nothing. I don't know, we'll see what they say. All right guys, this load is over with. You know the drill. Park the truck over there. So yeah, man, we just made it. Uh, my drop of time was supposed to be 8, 8 a.m. But um, they allowed me to drop it off early, so that was good. I don't have to get out the house again. Well, I have to get out the house either way, but you know it worked out that way so yeah man this load is over new jersey to kentucky now we just got to find something going back to new jersey hopefully or somewhere close to new jersey we'll pick it up and we'll hit the road tomorrow morning uh that's the end of this vlog guys appreciate you please like comment subscribe to the channel as you can see like i promised new content you know different places and stuff um yeah so i'll catch you on the next one guys take it easy
All right, guys, what's going on? I just picked up a load from Louisville, Kentucky, back to New Jersey. So, I'm really having a hard time trying to figure out what I'm gonna use, either my phone or this trucking GPS. At times, the trucking GPS will give you a, a different whole route. Uh, and I'm just trying to get back on the highway, so I ended up using my phone. Ooh, ended up using my phone and uh, now I'm on this tiny road for the next four miles, I think. Um, so I was trying to get back, you know, use uh, Cincinnati, Columbus, PA, and my GPS is trying to go West Virginia, Maryland, and I'm, I'm already kind of getting used to the, you know, PA route, so I'm, now I gotta find my way back on the highway so I could, you know, use that route. But I'm really having a hard time trying to figure out what's best, what do I start with and what do I end with. Because using both phone and GPS, it's kind of rough. I feel like every time I do this, I end up uh, getting off the highway and I'm on these tiny little back roads you know trying to catch the other highway so you know do yourself a favor man just look at the map before you head out i guess because now that i was looking at the map and i saw that it was taking me the west virginia route you know i was like no 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 uh even though it's a shorter route i think by maybe 15 miles i guess i would you know i i, I mean I, there's you know, I'm just used to knowing the PA route. So do yourself a favor. If you're on this road, man, just look at the map. If you're using the GPS, you use, look at the map, see which way it's taking you. And then, you know, you go from there. Um, it's kind of like learning the hard way right now. Cause I mean, I got what, two more miles on this back road. Uh, I've been on here for like the last three. So just do yourself a favor and look at the the map before you know you get on the road so yep we back on the road man i had uh i had um so my drop off is tomorrow and uh, i had found a load from new jersey again from pick up tomorrow and drop off on monday but uh you know i did a, i accepted that load and i ended up realized i can't do that load because i have a I have a job interview on Monday. So I called uh, my dispatcher real quick, you know, to not book that low. He did book it, but he called a broker and, you know, the broker was okay for them to, you know, give that load to somebody else. So that was, that happened. But I mean, it would, it would have been, it would have been a good weekend. Drop this load off, pick that load up, up same location, same site, same side of town, you know, hold that load for the weekend. Then, uh, you know drive back out here monday no sunday night or you know sunday during the day to drop it off on monday it, it would have been nice but i totally you know screwed myself right there um but yeah i mean that's a that's another thing really i'm trying to you know come up with a solution to this kind of situations where if i you know if i have a driver then you know i wouldn't be tied up because, you know, your boy got to do some other stuff, you know. And I'd rather have the truck, you know, be on the road than just not. So, like I said, you know, hopefully in the next month or two, I can find somebody else to, you know, take over. And, you know, whether they want to do Amazon strictly, whether they want to do over the road. It just depends on how much grind they're trying to do. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you if you get on the road you're getting paid more money if you're staying local you know you're not making that much money so you know it's really up to whoever i find to drive this truck but i would really you know you know like to see the truck on the road like we've been doing lately right now i think it just makes more sense doing it that way i mean for me and for the driver 